How's it going guys? It's the Pixelated Pumpkin and in today's video we are at at home for the Halloween 2024 season. As you could see in front of me we have a whole bunch of animatronics which I'm pretty surprised about as well as a ton of home decor and a crazy amount of inflatables. We're gonna start with the main attraction, the animatronics. We have this little cemetery sign here. Pretty cool archway. Let's start with this pumpkin dude looking pretty cool. It's just a standard Pan Asian Creations pumpkin guy, but we'll do him one more time. He's only got one phrase, but take a look at the hand there. Pretty cool. I like the color going on here, the green and orange. Looks pretty cool. And as for his face, I guess it's fine. Not the biggest fan of the teeth, but I guess it's unique. Next up, we have a Pan Asian Creations, I'm assuming, butler. Which, look, he's got a head right there and a hand. Looks like he's serving up a nasty meal, but let's turn him on. Don't be frightened. I am here to serve you. For dinner. I actually like how this guy looks a lot. We'll do him one more time. I hope you will be hanging around for a very long time. I like his phrases. Let's hear him one more time. I also have alternate menus for your dining pleasures. Brains topped with eyeballs. <laughs> Pretty classic, creepy Halloween goodness right there. Now we have a 12-foot skeleton dressed as a blue-collar worker, I want to say. Um, looks like he has some hair up there, too. I'll step back and we can get a good view of this guy. Here's a full view of him here. Um, just a pretty standard jemmy 12-footer. Nothing impressive whatsoever, but... I mean, it's a very unique design. I mean, it's just a standard skeleton, but I'm not sure why he's wearing what he's wearing. Pretty silly looking, but uh, let's take a look at the last two animatronics here. Here we got a standard looking Pan Asian Creations Grim Reaper now. Take a look at the scythe. I hope you're not too surprised to see me. It's kind of inevitable. Pretty cool Grim Reaper, I guess. Pretty standard stuff, though. And here we have the new Jemmy fancy skeleton. Take a look at this guy here. Look, he's, his head is on a spring, I noticed. So yeah, you, could, you could have a lot of fun with this thing. Um, but uh, let's turn him on. All right, so I know his mouth is supposed to move, and I'm pretty sure he, yeah, he, as you can see, he sort of rocks this back and forth, but I don't know why it's not working. But uh, him singing Spooky Scary Skeletons was kind of a surprise. Let's do him one more time. Yeah, so he does say standard phrases along with singing Spooky Scary Skeletons, I guess. But uh, I mean, this is fine for what it is. Nothing impressive at all. Uh, I wish it was working the mouth at least, but yeah, there you go. That was all the at-home Halloween 2024 
animatronics, I have to say. Uh, it's nice to see that they have a bunch this year uh, from a good variety of manufacturers and stuff. But uh, overall, pretty good selection, all things considered. We got one more I missed here. Here we have the Jemmy pop-up girl. Is this, oh, okay, that actually startled me. I know what this thing does, but I was not sure if it was on or not. Um, yeah, this thing's pretty cool, I guess. They have a witch version of it at Michael's this year, which was just crazy for me to see. I was not expecting to see an animatronic at Michael's, but go watch that video if you haven't. One more time. Pretty cool, kind of a older one, been sold for a few years now. Here we have a whole bunch of skeletons now. Take a look at these Frankenstein looking ones. Those are pretty cool. Here we have a whole bunch of inflatables now. Let's take a look at each one. Starting with this, I wanna say probably 10 foot Grim Reaper one. I'll back up. Oh, it's a 12 foot actually. Pretty cool. I mean, pretty standard stuff. I, I like the fire and ice light inside his face there though. That's definitely nice. Next up, we have the Headless Horseman, uh, who does have a head. Um, and it looks like the horse kind of rocks back and forth a tiny bit. I'll back up to get a good look at him. Uh, I've seen much better Headless Horseman inflatables, but uh, this one's pretty cool considering the horse does move. And I do like the pumpkin face on there for sure. Next up, we have this kind of stack, I guess, of a cat, a Frankenstein head, and a jack-o'-lantern. I'm not really sure how this works uh, or what these are even supposed to be besides the jack lantern, but pretty weird inflatable there. Here we have this mummy, kind of looks surprised. I'll back up. This is probably another 10 foot one right here. Uh, pretty cute looking, I guess. Not the best though. Here we have this small cat with a pumpkin pail in her mouth or his mouth. Pretty cool. I guess it's a nice cute one. And here we have this colossal 20 foot tall animated cat inflatable. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the black cat stuff, but if you are, this is definitely an inflatable for you. It is a massive 20 foot, that's right, 20 feet tall. And I'm guessing it, it's probably around 15, maybe, maybe probably closer to like 18 feet tall, the body, but then the tail kind of adds to the height as you can see there. So it's really not 20 feet tall its body, but at its highest point, it definitely is. So that's pretty cool. I'll try to back up as much as I can to get it into frame here. Yeah, there you go. That's kind of like a general look at it. Absolutely crazy. You could walk through it. It does make a good sideways archway if you want something like that. I am inside the cat now, but here we have a cute little witch with a little frog popping out of the cauldron. That's pretty cool. That's actually a nice little cute inflatable there. I'm assuming that's a frog. Uh, looks like he is being boiled alive though, so that kind of sucks for him, but this is actually a pretty decent inflatable here. Here we have a trick or treat truck, it looks like, with a whole bunch of Halloween characters having a good time inside. You got Frankenstein, a skeleton, spider pumpkin and at the very top you got a ghost this one's actually pretty cool i like the hubcaps on the car for sure that's cool here we have a classic spooky tree this thing has been sold for countless years now i guess i like the fire and ice light inside of it for sure almost makes it look like this one's burning the colors are good here this pitch black and then the orange and the eyes and mouth this one's a pretty good spooky tree now here we have an absolutely insane 20 foot tall Frankenstein inflatable. Now this guy is just massive. He's literally bending to be able to fit in the store here. I'm guessing the ceilings are probably about 18 feet high and he is just barely fitting in there. Absolutely huge, but very cool as well. And right next to it, we have this 20 foot witch, which this one is also just absolutely insane. Not as cool as the Frankenstein one though. Here we have this Ghost Stories Campfire Inflatable. I really liked this one last year. I thought this was a fun concept with the ghosts being scared by their own ghost stories. That one is pretty cute. 
Here we have this big hearse looking car inflatable, I wanna say. This one is decent, I guess. It doesn't really make much sense that there's wallpaper on the window. But take a look at that skeleton. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the concept art for the skeleton, uh, fancy skeleton animatronic we just looked at. Uh, I definitely believe this to be a Jemmy inflatable right here. Um, I'm not a big fan of this one, to be honest with you. I've seen much better hearse inflatables, but uh, I guess for what it is, it's pretty cool. Take a look at this pumpkin reaper groundbreaker inflatable. This is okay. Um, I like the lights inside of it. The face is all right. Not much to say about this one. This one here is cool. We have a coffin skeleton, which he will lift himself out of the grave there at any moment. There he goes. Take a look at that. That is actually a cool inflatable for sure. I'm not sure if it's worth $70 though, but uh, still a cool looking inflatable animatronic sort of as well. Really cool though. And this is definitely not Halloween, but for the sake of getting everything, it is a part of the inflatable section here. We have a football playing turkey uh, for obviously the best holiday of them all, Christmas. No, I'm kidding, it's Thanksgiving. But uh, still a cool one. I do like the football. And uh, I guess for a non-Halloween inflatable, this one is all right. Here we have all the home decor. Let's start in the back. Now here we have a whole bunch of outdoor decor. I'll keep this quick because a lot of it seems to be the same as last year. Got this skull stack here. That is one big skull. Some neon looking skulls. The teddy bear skeleton from last year. I do like that one. We got this jumbo posable skeleton, which is pretty cool. Black skull. Cool dragon. Tombstones. Some, I guess miniature oh double headed actually take a look at that that is actually pretty cool two heads because they say two heads are better than one here we got this little pumpkin hanging dude neat some more of these candles these candles are actually pretty cool we got a whole bunch of uh skeleton animals here just a great assortment of them it looks like we got some miniature posable skeletons, tombstones, all got a little dog, that's cute. And then we have more and more skeleton animals as far as the eye could see. We got a giant skeleton spider, which doesn't really make sense in terms of, I guess, its actual body, but it's still funny and still cool looking. We have some dismembered feet, more tombstones whole bunch of little skeletons right here. This little rabbit. Some cats. These little Frankenstein skeletons. Miniature spider skeletons. There's armadillo skeleton. That's crazy. Take a look at this demon skull with the horns on it. That's pretty cool. Take a look at this alligator skull here. That is awesome. Very strange though, but still cool. This dinosaur skull, I guess. Mouth moves, it looks like. That's pretty interesting. So that's it for this table over here filled with stuff. I know I didn't cover everything in detail, but come on, look how much stuff there is. Let's take a look at this next table down here. What does this do? There's a warning sign on it. Oh, literally just lights up. I'm not sure why. They need to put the warning on there. That's a little weird. But uh, here we have even more stuff over here. Um, this seems to be a lot of like floral decor, a lot of dark flowers over here. Take a look at these Venus fly traps. Those are cool. This fungi covered skull is pretty neat. That's all right. Oh, that's actually awesome. Look at that little wraith coming out of the book there. That's awesome. Look at this little lantern there. Headless skeleton statues, some skeleton statues. These are pretty neat. This lights up. Standard, standard stuff if you ask me, but still all pretty cool. Nothing's wrong with it per se, but just a lot of the same old, same old. Look at this big phantom. It's cool. And this one, this one is really cool here. It does look like he lights up, so it's a... Uh, Oh, there's no try me button, but yeah, take a look at that. A little psyche's holding. 
lantern. That's a cool outdoor sort of decoration statue you can put up there. Some books, some book statues, more skeletal gnomes. Oh, here we have a animated candy bowl. I don't, I don't really see anything to turn them on. Got a tombstone. Some more. This big skeleton statue with the psych here, almost using it as an ore, it looks like, it does light up. I'm guessing it's just the eyes. And I guessed correctly. Still cool though. This little skull in the thing there, I'm not really sure why, but. Oh, we got a. Closer, please. Let's the doctor have a look. <laughs> Pretty much a Jemmy animatronic that's sold every year here. So, you want to be my next experiment? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Whatever. That thing has just been sold here like for the past five years, I want to say. Here we got this cool looking statue with the wings. That is actually awesome. Probably very expensive though, but still a really cool looking statue there. We got these big candles they pretty much sell every year. These are neat, I guess, if you need something for outside and you want to keep it classy, I guess if you want to say. And we just have these dark trees. I'm not really sure who's buying those. We got this pillow with the fancy dress skeleton on it. Again, I'm pretty sure that might be concept art from Jemmy, but I could be completely wrong there. We got some more tombstones and small little statues. Take a look at this gargoyle here. It's a pretty cool looking gargoyle. Another little phantom of sorts. All this is pretty cool. Take a look at this huge skull pile, I guess, bird bath almost. I can't really use it as a bird bath, but this is crazy looking. Take a look at all those skulls, the bird on there. It's actually a really cool statue. Take a look at this Nightmare Before Christmas welcome sign. That is really cool. You got Jack on there. You got a little pumpkin at the top. Take a look at all these groundbreaker hands. Mummy hands, I guess. Those look pretty cool. We have this entire shelf here littered with Halloween stuff. Let's start with this scarecrow guy here. Uh, this is probably animated, I wanna say. It looks like his eyes do light up, but let me try to find, here we go. Not working, does the one behind him work? Nah, none of these are working, that's unfortunate. It's still a cool looking scarecrow. I'm guessing probably the legs kick on it or maybe just the eyes light up. It is a cool looking scarecrow skull. That's neat. These light up spider cocoons look pretty cool. I can imagine people hanging these up and doing a little spider web scene. You got big spider webs there. This big happy Halloween sign. We got this which appears to be animated. Let's try them. Not working. Uh, well, that sucks, but he's pretty cool looking. I'll try to lift this up here. Yeah, it's a pretty gnarly looking zombie face, but pretty cool. Pretty interesting sort of character here. We got these. Then we got these witch things. Some more man eating plants type stuff. Please park your broom at the door. That's pretty cool. These massive skulls right here. Those are huge. Some more witch themed stuff. Look at this little skull with the hat on him. That's pretty cool. We got some more home witch decor right here. This stuff is all right. Definitely not my thing, but still pretty cool. We got these giant man eating plants in this pot here. Those look pretty neat. Take a look at this uncanny looking man eating plant with the human teeth. Uh, why they chose human teeth, I don't know, but again, certainly uncanny and weird looking. Here we got a candy bowl. Does this work? That's a good one. Made with my favorite ingredient. <laughs> Pretty standard candy bowl there. Take a look at these books. I'm not sure why you'd want this one inside the glass dome there, but the stack of books themselves right here are pretty cool looking. I like this whole red and black color scheme they're going for here, especially with this house. 
That is a cool little haunted house diorama. Take a look at this smaller little man-eating plant. Once again, with the weird human teeth, but I think this is a pretty decent tabletop decoration. Does it have eyes on the top? No, it's just sort of like a piranha plant almost with little spots on it. Here we have some little small tabletop decorations now. Again, with the plant themed stuff, we got this spooky looking mushroom with the eye. We got this big man eating plant, it's small, but take a look at how big he is in his pot there with uh, octopus tentacles and eyes for some reason. Very interesting design there, I have to say. And we have another man eating plant, it looks like. This one almost looks like an animal with that. Almost looks like a monkey face, I want to say, like a baboon. Uh, interesting design and pretty cool. I feel like the plant themed stuff is pretty untapped right now and I think at home is doing a good job kind of filling that void but still pretty cool little decor regardless. We just have some more witch, not my really cup of tea stuff over here but just give you a quick little view at it. We got a little Jack Skellington blow mold. I do like that little guy right there and then we have these mini hangers right here, Jack. And of course, you can't have Jack without Zero. Zero one is pretty cool. Uh, seven bucks though. Yeah, I'm not paying seven bucks for something that tiny. Then we got some ghosts and some witches. Well, this one, oh, it does light up as you can see, sort of a pulsating light inside of there. Get to focus, there you go. That's pretty cool. And then in this aisle here, we have a whole bunch of stuff. Step inside, take a look. We got these little bottles. Uh, more Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. You got Zero on there. Not really sure what these bottles, the point of them being a bottle is for, but I still like the lights and the little design on there with Zero. That's cute. Here we got some skulls. Some mini Nightmare Before Christmas pumpkin heads. I think they had these at Spirit Halloween one year. $4 is a little bit overpriced for these, but they're still pretty cute. Could have them lined up on like a mantelpiece or something. Just an idea for you guys there. Here we have some more random stuff, I guess. I don't even know what those are. Some big pumpkins down at the bottom, and even more big pumpkins on this side. A little pumpkin stack. Pumpkins, 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 and here we go. This seems to be a really popular item at, at home this year. We got this one-eyed pumpkin with the crazy teeth. That is certainly a cool little blow mold piece. I'm assuming the whole thing lights up when you plug it in. Yeah, take a look at that guy. That is really interesting. I like the cartoony design though, I have to be honest. It does look pretty funky and pretty cool. And then more just standard plug-in jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins. We got these massive pumpkins up top here. And below we have some skeletons, some standard poseable skeletons. And then in the box here we got like a tricycle riding skeleton that must be pretty big if it's in a box that big for $80. Here's some shadow lights. I know the millennials will love this one. We got a bluey one. And we got a just standard pumpkin shadow light. That's pretty cool. We gotta look at the design up above. I'll do some basic hanging stuff here. The Frankenstein is very detailed and realistic. We have some front door mats. We got a whole bunch of lighting options. The hanging candles are cool. And yeah, just standard stuff. Some hanging witch hats. I actually like these a lot when people get a whole bunch of them and hang them up on like their porch or something. It looks cool, I can't lie. And just some more standard lighting. That's pretty cool. Candy corn pathway markers. I haven't seen anything like that. Yeah, some more pathway markers with bomb with these flickering ghosts. And of course, you can't have pathway markers without having at least one jack o' lantern one. You got these little solar ones here. Uh, they look kind of ugly though with the big solar thing on top. So I wouldn't recommend these. Honestly, the ones at the Dollar Tree look better than this. Here we got some scarier decor, I guess you could say. Back with this zombie guy again. This one does light up actually, which is nice. We have these big SVI tombstones here now. They do have a try me button. Let's give it a whirl. Pretty standard SVI tombstone, but I do like the design of it a lot. And I like how the skull does have the light inside of it. That is a cool looking skull for sure. Here we have some dismembered feet once again. Take a look at this creepy doll skeleton. That is, ugh, that actually creeps me out. 
And we have this ghostly hanging bride here, I guess you could say. There's a look at the face. I don't see a try me button on it. It does look like the eyes light up, however. That's pretty cool. Here, I'll lift it, lift it up. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb looking face, but with the veil over it, it does look much creepier, I have to say. Then we got these little hanging ghosts here. More hanging witches. More little ghost standing ones, or these are more little hanging ghosts as well. And take a look at this jack-o'-lantern hanger here. Wow, it's actually really cool looking. I love the face on that thing. Uh, they are very tiny and five bucks though, so I won't be getting it, but still pretty cool looking. And then here we got these big scarecrow jack-o'-lanterns, and they do work, so let's try it out. Uh, I'm not sure why it has carnival music, but uh, whatever, I guess. That's uh, definitely a strange choice of music there. The face on it is cool, and I guess for a standard little hanging scarecrow, it's not too bad. Here we have a whole bunch of cute Halloween decorations, which I still think they're worth looking at. I actually do like this little blow mold of the pumpkin, ghost, and bat. We got these little Halloween trees. Again, I'll say it once. Again, I've said this so many times, I do not understand the Halloween tree thing. Still, if you put ornaments on a tree, it's gonna look Christmassy to me, no matter what those ornaments actually are. Here we have some bats, cute little bat plush there. A little ghost, this lights up, let's see what it does. All right, maybe you could see, but it's like faintly, faintly changing colors inside there. I like how it looks though. And we got this little ghost blow mold holding the pumpkin. Very cute indeed. Little pumpkin stack. Here we got this pumpkin pillow. I almost missed this, but we got a harmonica playing skeleton. That's pretty cool. Here we got another little section of more traditional Halloween goodies, I wanna say. Let's take a look. Take a look at this crazy looking pumpkin snow globe. That is actually really interesting. Here's a better look inside the pumpkin snow globe. I found another one on this side. Yeah, take a look at the little ghost dog, dr or dog dressed as a ghost, I should say. A little pumpkin, and I like how you got that scarecrow jack-o'-lantern there. That's cool. And we have some plushies, some gnomes, lots of pillows, lots and lots of pillows. Now on this side we have these ghost guys. Those are pretty cool. We got these little white pumpkins, the pumpkins with the top hats. These pumpkin bat stack, that has to be one of the coolest pumpkin stacks I've seen. Definitely one of the most unique, really nice there. And we got this little SVI ghost black, let's try this. Speaker sounds to be very damaged on that thing, but they've been selling this at a multitude of stores for so many years now, and I've just kind of grown old of it, but it's still cool. Look at these skeletons breaking out of the pumpkin here. That's pretty cool. I have this little haunted house here. I got this gnome with the big pumpkin stack hat. That's pretty cool. I have a. Um... We got this big pumpkin here. <laughs> that thing is all right, I guess. Again, it's been sold for so long now. Well, everybody, I think that is going to be it for At Home Halloween 2024. Let me know what you thought of all the new stuff this year in the comments below. I would love to hear it. Anyways, here we got the animatronics one last time. Honestly, I have to say it's a definitely a pleasant surprise seeing animatronics, life-size animatronics at At Home. I think they had a pretty good selection this year, especially like this pumpkin guy. But with that, everybody, be sure to like, 
subscribe. You know the deal. Leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of At Home Halloween 2024 in the comments below. As always, nobody outpixelates the pumpkin.